Hi, we have this project today. Uh, we want to insert a table of figures. So what we have, we have two images here and we need to insert an index of that images. But first we need to insert caption for each image. So let's insert, right click, insert caption. So here I want to write uh, the red car. Uh, we can choose here if it's illustration, uh, the kind of numbering, um, and so on. Um, the position below the image or above the image, the separator with space or without space, and so on, with line on what we want. Okay, the position above or below the image, we let's choose below. And we'll look like this, illustration one, the red car. Let's press OK. We have here. Let's insert for the second image. The same, the white car. We don't change anything. We press, we just press OK. Now we have the, um, the caption. Now we want the index. We go to insert, table of content, table of contents here, and we choose table of figures. And from here we choose um, illustration because we insert that as illustration and we can choose from reference and so on. So as you can see, we have illustration one, the red car, page one. Illustration two, the white car, page two. Everything is automatic. So if I change um, the image on another page, everything's changed. Of course, I can change my title. Let's choose again here, illustration. And let's choose from here, category and number. Okay. Let's update. We have illustration one, illustration two and so on without names. Let's change to caption text. So the caption is red car, the white car, and the page number. And now, uh, let's see how it look on printing. So this gray is just for us to, to know that here it's a field and it's uh, inserted automatic. If I'm moving everything on the next page, okay, so the image is on the page three, you can see here, everything is updated. If I right click on the index and update um, index. Okay. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.